Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're talking about variables in JavaScript, what they are, and how you can declare them. This is part of my series on JavaScript. So we are looking at JavaScript, we are learning JavaScript together. When we are done, we can go to React and React Native. There's amazing content coming right here on this channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. Also, like, hit the thumb icon, and then also share this video with friends. So what are variables and how do you declare them? Every programming language and how you declare variables. So in JavaScript, we're going to learn how we can declare and then use variables. So variables are like containers for storing data. Okay, so you want to store values within your program, you may have to declare variables to do that. So if you want to store your age, you may have to declare variables. Okay, so let's jump right to action. You cannot just jump straight and start typing JavaScript in HTML. You have to indicate that you want to use JavaScript by using the script keyword okay so once you script anything that goes within this become what becomes what javascript okay declare javascript by using what let var and then constant you can declare javascript by using let var and then what constant so any of this can be used to declare javascript and what are the difference between them i'll tackle this in a separate video it's going to be a detailed video on let and then what constant but basically var is very old was introduced way back 1995 to what 2005 2015 sorry so var was introduced in 1995 to 2015 so if you are using older browsers then you may have to consider using just what var but let was introduced alongside constant in 2015 to date now so you can use them in within newer browsers and it's going to work perfectly so how do you declare variables there are rules you need to follow variable variables might have the descriptive name so if i say variables might have a descriptive name if i want to store my first name then i may have to say let first name i can do it this way but what maybe my name okay so that is it and every statement ends with what a what a semicolon okay so this is what i mean by descriptive name if it's going to be my last name then i have to do something like that so there are several names to, so there are several ways to create variables they can be something like this underscore so variable names can have underscore like this you can also do something like this so this is basically what we call a uh, camo case you can also do something like this which become pascal case so any of this should work for you variable names can contain letters digits underscore dollar sign whatever but make sure that the, it must begin with what a letter okay it can also begin with what a dollar sign or underscore aside that it will not pick okay? you can start with a number so these are the rules in assigning what creating variables it should have a descriptive name so if you want to maybe assign or create a variable to store each then i need to use one a descriptive age as well a descriptive name maybe let's call it what age so this is going to store what the age so i can see if it's 90 years you go ahead and do that so this is how basically to print variable they need to have a descriptive name so let's see how you can use the bar bar basically do the same thing. so bar can also be used in the same way so var you need to give the name to your variable by saying let's say send it and then you go ahead and then put in the name pattern. so you can see how the whole thing is going to be so var and then let can be used anyway anyhow but like i said var is very old it ended in 2015 but if you are using other browsers you have to consider Oliver, okay. But currently, if you are still using Python, it's wait, okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But let is newer, and then maybe you can have stick to just a let for now, and that will be perfect. Okay. Basically, we use a constant. Let's go with a constant. Uh, why will you use a constant? Constant is basically for general, general. If something is not going to change, so let's say you want to give a price of something. Let's say constant. Let's say give a price. I want the price of a certain commodity you want it to be static it shouldn't change then you have to go to constant so just as the name sounds it's constant and it's not going to change so let's say this is 
the number we are assigning to this this is not going to change then we have to go towards constants so basically this is how you can declare variables and how you can use them if you have a descriptive name you have to follow the rules and regulation in assigning what variables so once this is done you can go ahead and start what echoing this or printing this to your browser right now if i go and i save this within my browser i should be seeing only the letter the only the h1 head that has variables in javascript that should be what i should have in my browser for now okay so now i have all the variables that's my h1 header but what about what i have if i want to print them out in my browser then i may have to print them out using the right procedure so and javascript there's several ways of doing this there are several ways to print out something i can even use what alert i can use alert and then within the alert i can just say name the variable so in this case i'm using what first name so the first name if i do this i need to end this so if i save this and then print this out within my browser it should give me an alert and give me my name you can see over here it's saying what timothy is going to print this by it's going to be an alert but if you want to display this within your browser then we have to use a different way of doing that we can also use a log console.log to do that which is basically good for debugging okay so what i can do is i can use the documents so i can use document.write and in this case i can't just say what first name so it's going to be what first name and then make sure every statement you end it with a semicolon and this is basically going to print in but this one is not going to be what alert by to print it directly in, in the browser so if i save this and i go back to my browser it's going to print it out so you should be seeing Timothy within the browser so you can see Timothy has been printed out okay so this is how you can output how you can create variables so any of these rules should follow you follow any of these rules you should be able to achieve your results so like i said constant can also be printed the same way you can use the price just put the price here since we've created it let's put the price there save this and reload it and you should be getting 34 okay so let's try this also and see what will be printed in the browser okay so we should be seeing 34 printed out so 34 is printed out and let's see what we can also do we can print the age as well we can do several things there's a lot to be doing but this is how to create or declare variables within what javascript we're going to do everything step by step so remember to like subscribe and turn on post notification i don't want this video to be too long there's a lot we're going to do so this is the process the procedure to follow and creating variables within javascript we'll be doing a lot it's like come away again remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification. Bye-bye.